Hey, how you doing everyone? This is Oscar Mateos from Virtufly North America, as you can see here at Lookup Flight Academy with Mike Mojo Grip. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Virtufly, who I am, who we are, and what we are doing here at Lookup Flight Academy. So I'm in charge of sales and marketing. Inside is Ken, who, who came uh, all the way down from Tampa, Florida, who is our uh, technical guy here in the USA, or one of our technical guys. And Virtufly North America is a flight simulator manufacturer. We manufacture flight sim equipment, basically certified flight simulators. That's our expertise. What you see here is a full motion flight simulator uh, that is representing a Beach Barn B-58 or G-58 amongst other types of aircraft. And it's a certified AATD. Many of you will know what that is, just in case I'll let you know that it's an advanced aviation training device with which you can certify, uh, you can log hours as a, as a pilot. So if you're a student pilot in a flight school, if you're just a, a certified pilot, you can log hours, as many hours as you can in these simulators AATDs. And many of them, you can actually log them towards certifications like instrument ratings, commercial pilot license, um, ATP. That's why it's such an amazing tool for flight schools like Mike's Flight School, Look I Flight Academy. So this is not the only certified flight simulator that we have. We have a big portfolio of flight simulators. Um, I've sent Mike some B-roll images that you will see in this video, but basically Solo Pro A, for example, is our analog uh, Cessna 172 and 182 RG flight simulator. The, uh, the Solo Pro G1 is the G1000 version of that. Those are two single seat static uh, flight simulators. We have the same for the DA40, the, Di the Diamond DA40, and we have it for the Baron. I just came, I just flew from Chicago actually to certify a Caravan. So we also have specific certified aircraft like the Caravan, the Phantom 300. And yeah, that's, that's what we do. And today we'll see the Baron B58 specifically beautiful G1000 cockpit. So come up with me and Mike and we'll check it out. So we have all the FAA documentation that uh, Ken prepared and you're gonna see that in a, in a separate video with Ken. Here's like the sticker for the Duo Pro, the technical logbook, the LOA. Uh, this is gonna be done by Ken afterwards during the certification, let's say, internal process. But now we're gonna try and fight a little bit. So yeah. I'll give this for you for later. Absolutely. Let's go. So this simulator is already running and that's how the students are going to actually uh, jump into the simulator because as a certified flight simulator, you're not going to use any keyboard or, my, or mouse to turn it on, but you're going to turn it on through a, a, pro, a very easy process, just turning on the main computer and then the secondary computer. And automatically it's going to be, it's going to appear here in, in a runway, the runway that you, in this case, decide. We're going to activate the fly, which is the motion. This is the motion actuator. You have it in stop, manual, now it's never. We're going to go into the fly position. And uh, as you can notice, once you activate it, it's basically in the position where the motion actuators are ready. So everything is up, battery, avionics, alternators, both engines are already running. Everything is beautiful here. All the lights are on. You can turn off the, the panel light as well. So if, you, if you're in a, in a night flight, we're gonna turn it on for now. Fuel pumps are on, mixture rich, prop high RPM. We're gonna go for it. So we're gonna go ahead and select flap approach. Parking brake released and let's do it. So the motion, <laughs> as you can feel, <laughs> makes you feel like almost the acceleration, right? <laughs> wow. Yeah. So putting that right rudder there, like in the real life. So takeoff power is set, speed alive, everything is running smoothly. And now slowly, all the way up. There you are. <laughs> Positive rate. Here up, and we have here 
the manual trim or you also have the trim on the on the yoke and just like in the real aircraft uh, if, if I'm pressing the left pedal we're gonna go left right pedal you know the rudder movement and the same if I'm pitching up you'll notice pitch up if I'm pitching down you'll notice how I go down which is crazy huh? It's, it's truly incredible how real this feels right now even like you're banking left and I can feel myself exactly banking like <laughs> yeah incredible. it is it is uh, something very very cool and it's great because it's a very simple electric uh, full motion platform uh, which has the vertical and, and horizontal axis but the programming behind it what we do is we we try and mimic this, the exact same sensation which are the pitch re, uh, pitch roll and your sensations with those two actuators so if we start turning to the right now you'll notice smoothly how we start turning right and your body is going to also notice that and in terms of a trainer you know you, you see the 3g1000 of course two pfds you can make it three pfds as well with the display backup um, then you have the the actual mfd here on the middle uh, and you can do any kind of procedure trainer like the in the exact g1000 so if we go to fly plan um, or even if we go directly to procedures here that would be better select approach uh, and we go to kilo india November Tango, you know, we could basically fly. What approaches do you have here? Uh, now I'm gonna have to do like, oh, another thing. You yes. can connect, yeah, you can connect four flight here. So uh, you could put the ILS 33 starting from, let's say, Azel initial approach fix. Boom, activate. And now you have it here. So just like in the real airplane. Does this have uh, autopilot? It has autopilot, so let's put it on the heading mode. Flight, uh, let's put it on the heading mode. Altitude, we're gonna go to 3100. Autopilot mode, check. And now we're he we're on the autopilot. It has the G, I think it's the GFC 700 autopilot, which is the one that the G1000 has. So now we have autopilot on the heading mode and altitude. 3,000 feet or 3,100 in this case and it's it's as realistic as so for example in the, the throttle itself right so let's reduce the manifold in this case to 21 inches for example here I'm gonna go all the way down to 21 inches and then we'll reduce the power as well with the prop RPM all the way let's say to 23 Three, for example, there we are, and we could also, you know, lean it to whatever we think for the fuel flow. So we see that the fuel flow now is going down 13, 12.9. It's, it's <laughs> It's exactly the same, yeah. As a certified flight simulator, what happens is that you have the possibility here to, first of all, use it as a, as, a, as a professional tool, which means you have an instructor station to change everything related with the weather, with the failures, with changing aircraft, etc. Uh, outside of here, and we'll check it out later, is a small a laptop with our own instructor station and it's very easy, very, very intuitive because you just go to weather and if you, now we're flying on a nice, uh, almost cavoke day here, but if you wanna practice a full IFR, in, within seconds, you're gonna go to weather, you're gonna press, let's say, down to visibility zero and, and you're gonna have the, you're gonna have basically visibility zero um, to practice a, a full IFR day. If you're connected to internet, you can even try real weather. So you connect to internet, and you and there's a real weather uh, button. So you say real weather and where I am, Winston Salem or Greensboro, 
uh, press it and so it, if it's pouring down outside, boom, press uh, real weather and, and pouring down the same. Again, it's outside, which for the or the, the instructor can test it. The good thing is you can put your laptop here and also uh, uh, have it inside so you can change everything for inside. And the same happens with failures. So you have, if you, if you want to the student to see that the low temp, the oil pressure is going all the way down, uh, you can press oil pressure so it goes all the way down so that way you can check that the pilot and student is, is, is checking the instruments continuously or it's not. You know, you have a thousand possibilities with instructor station. You can change the aircraft as well because this is a certified sim for the Beach Baron but you can actually, outside of the FAA certification, you can fly the Cessna 172, the 182 RG uh, and again the Beach Baron B-58. So, yeah. So now that we're uh, gonna, gonna start it with this downwind leg into runway, what runway is it now? One five. Let me let me go all the way down, and I'm gonna okay. Let's put the landing gear down, and while I land this aircraft on runway one five here, I'd like to explain that of course this flight simulator not only is at Lookup Flight Academy for all the students. But it's a great opportunity for Virtual Fly to have another uh, another base for Same when rate. anyone wants to try our simulators. Anyone wants to come and fly a full motion simulator, you have one here at Smith Reynolds Airport at Lookup Flight Academy. So if anyone is interested in trying it out, knowing more about all our range of certified flight simulators, remember, Lookup Flight Academy has one for their students and for anyone to try it out. It's a great machine, not only for professional training, but for also, you know, just good fun as we're having now. So, yeah. Awesome. Let's go ahead and finish it up with a nice landing here. You'll, you'll, you'll be amazed by the touchdown sensation. Okay. Yeah, you'll see. Okay, so there we are. So landing gear, green, three green and down. We'll select flap approach. Checks. Overshooting here, of course, and everyone overshoots in the new airport. I'm not gonna be the. And this is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> yeah, obstacle. exactly. Caution, obstacle. At this moment, of course, but I'm as a certified pilot. I could be logging our the, the time right now once it's certified. So there we are, a little bit left rather. And now the touchdown is amazing, you'll see why. So flaring out here, boom. Wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> and now the brakes. Incredible. You can feel Incredible. the braking in the, in the, wow. on the back. Incredible. I can feel the <laughs> like the, the pushback. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Great stuff.